sharing with you how I took a piece of cardstock, which is cut at four and one eighth by five and three eighths, and I've designed four different cards using just that one sh sheet of paper that I sponged. So I'm using the new stamps from the My Favorite Things, the newest release. So I'm just gonna walk you through each of the cards that I made and how I created it using that one piece of paper. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do with after we cut our, after we sponge our, our piece of sponged cardstock is cut it diagonal. So you're gonna have the card front, so we'll pretend this is it, and you're just gonna cut it from end to end. So you have two separate pieces here. So the one that's on the bottom, so the one in this corner here, is what I use to create this effect here. So each of the little strips that we've made, where it points out, where it has that little uh, point, you're just gonna take each one of those, fold it a little bit over, so that way you can create that flag-like banner. So you're just gonna kind of give it a little bend let me get my scissors so I could show you. So you're just gonna make a tiny little crease, that, but I'm not pushing it all the way down. And then I'm just gonna go out, so that way you have all of these little flag-like banners. You wanna save all of those little extras because we are gonna use them later for another card. So I'm just gonna set this right back over there. So you're gonna do that for all of these here and then line up the edge, flip it over. And you could trim some off if you if it's going over too far or not far enough. So that way you can have all that that the longer strip going down here. Now as you notice it gets a little bit more narrow. So on my image you can see it's not going all the way across. So that's why I took the Polaroid and I put it all the way up to the edge of these two down here. So that way it still has that same effect, but you can't you can't really see that it doesn't continue. So I did that going all the way up. If you want to have a little bit more, like you, you could see here that these three pieces are really the same. Actually, these three, right? This one, this one, and this one. So it's just a little bit of yellow. So you can take one out. So that way you have more of the, the, the different color scheme going down. But for the most part, this is how I, I did my first card. But like I said, you want to keep all those little triangles, and we're going to be using those for a different card. So this stamp set that I'm using here is called Picture Perfect. It's from the new My Favorite Things release and it comes with all these cute little selfies of these little critters and adorable, adorable sayings. I've used our friendship is picture perfect. And then I, on a separate piece of paper, white cardstock, I cut out my Polaroid so that way I can put it onto my card behind, in front of my image. And each layer is on some foam tape or pop dots, including the the frame going around the image. So it gives it a little bit more height and dimension. So let me show you my next card. So here's my second card that I used, also using the Picture Perfect stamp set, this cute little monkey. And I've used the sentiment, you help, you help me make my best selfie, which is super cute. So these two strips here are gonna be these two strips. So after you cut this diagonal piece off of here, then you're gonna take your paper cutter and you're gonna put it in at an angle and you're gonna trim off one and then two. So you just have this triangle piece left over. And then you're gonna trim off the little triangles for us to make so it's just that, that long rectangle. And you're gonna save these for another card. And then all I did was create the little flag banners on the bottom of these and put them on, the, on foam tape onto my card base. I, again, I stamped my I stamped my image in Memento Desert Sand ink so I get that no-line effect just like I did with my previous card. And then I took some jewels from Pretty Pink Posh in also using that rainbow pattern going all the way down my little strip so it gives it a little bit of bling. So let me show you my next card. So here's my next card. I've used this stamp set called Piggy Pebbles, for, also from the new My Favorite Things release. Super, super cute. And again, stamped it in the Memento Desert Sand ink and colored it with my Copics. And again, with the Pretty Pink Posh jewels up here, also going in a rainbow pattern. So this piece here, that triangle that we have up here, I trimmed it down about three-fourths of an inch. 
and then put them towards the bottom of my card so that way I have that little gap of white in between. It just adds a little bit of extra to, to the card. And each of those layers, so the back piece, the rainbow part, is on foam dots and also the little piggy is also on foam dots. The little you hog my whole heart. I love the little punny sentiments that my favorite things always comes up with there. It's always really, really, really cute. So um, that's it for my second card. So we've gotten three cards so far out of our one sheet of sponged uh, cardstock. So let's move on to the next okay, card. Okay, so here's my last card. And as you can see, I was I kept telling you to save all those little triangle pieces. I've cut little triangles out of all of my leftovers to create this little pattern going along the bottom. I've used the new My Favorite Things Sweet Somebody stamp set, also with adorable, cute sentiments, little puns. I, I love them. They're just so much fun to work with. And I've, I usually I stamp my images or stamp the sentiments, and then I like to trim them up so that way you can get a little bit more... Um, dimension and you can put them exactly where you want. Again, I added the rainbow pretty pink posh jewels and let me just open this up to show you. So I absolutely love this new stamp set called Sil Scene Builder and it has all of those really, really fun trees. I can't wait to do an, a Copic tutorial using this set because it just, there's so much potential here. So I've stamped this large stamp going along my paper and it has the little tree and the little bush in the background and then I, I, I stamped these two larger trees to add it and I also added them onto foam dots so it gives it a little bit of dimension and then I, I colored like I said with all with my Copic markers I stamped again in the no line ink in the the, the desert sand memento ink and please Look down below, I'm gonna list all the Copics that I used for all of my cards here. And the little window that I have is also from the new release. It's a it's called Selfie Selfie Square. So you can use it with the selfie dies or you can create these little windows like this. It would be really great for making shaker cards. So and I love the little pierced edge it gives right around the edge there. So those are my four cards. I hope you feel inspired to create all your different Distress Oxide ink backgrounds. I'm, I've used my worn lipstick, the Dried Marigold, Squeezed Lemonade, cracks, Cracked Pistachio, Tumbled Glass, and Shaded Lilac to create my, my background pattern. And of course I added that uh, splash of water and I don't like to use a spray bottle because I really like the, the water droplets to really stand out so I usually just take my my fingers in a cup of water and just kind of flick it on there so that way you you can really see where those um, those spots are so I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and how to make a four cards out of one card front piece of sponged cardstock and I will see you in my next video have a wonderful day.